Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Today I want to discuss on hot on the heels of the best value full frame DSLR video we did and the best budget uh, DSLR video we did for shooting professionally, you know, weddings and portraits and commercial and whatever. Um, that was Nikon and we want to look at Canon. Now, my choices here might surprise you because they actually surprised me. I initially thought we would have a full frame and we would have a um, APS-C type sensor one. I thought maybe the 70D or the 60D. When I started looking at the numbers and looking at what was the best value, we ended up full frame. And the full frame camera is the original 5D. Uh, 12 megapixels, but still a very good performer. It's full frame, and you can pick these up used for $350, even $300 if you shop around, sometimes in very good shape with very low mileage on them, very low clicks, very low shutter count. Uh, Amazon currently 378 is um, what you can get a used one for, but I know myself, I have shopped around, and this is in Canadian dollars, so... Um, I've seen them for as low as 300 and you could probably even talk them down on uh, Kijiji and on um, Craigslist, things like that. So you can get a pair of bodies for between six and $700. Let's say 350 each for a really nice copy. Um, and so say $700. So we're looking at two full frame bodies for $700. Now, a caveat here, if you're wanting something that does video, the 5D is not for you. We're talking about a photography camera. So a pair of full frame bodies for doing professional photography work. So that's two 5Ds, original 5Ds used. Um, our lenses here, is, it's kind of a no brainer for me anyways. You may want to, you know, if you have an option you want to consider um, us looking at, leave it in the comments below. But the standard zoom I would get for that is the 24 to 105 L, the Canon 24 to 105 L. You can get these used for around 400, 429 currently used on Amazon. Uh, again, locally, you know, Kijiji or Craigslist, around $400. Uh, so great zoom, L glass, F4 all the way through, 24 to 105. You can shoot almost anything with this lens. Um, gets you a very nice range, especially on the full frame 5D, quite wide at 24 and fairly long at 105. Uh, I would not hesitate to shoot a wedding with this or portrait work or whatnot because F4 on a full frame body, um, you could still blow your background out pretty good. And if F4 is not going to do it, then you're going to want to use our next purchase in lenses, which is the 50mm F18. And we're going straight to the Canon 50mm F18 EF. STM lens because um, it's updated. It's a beautiful lens. I reviewed it. Check the past videos uh, on on Art of the Image here if you haven't seen that yet. But it's only $125 new. You're not going to save much money going for a used lens here, and you're probably going to want the latest and greatest because it's a very nice lens. Not the least of which is better, I think, coatings as well as they've gone to a metal mount on the back. So that's $125. So we're looking at uh, around 400 for the 24 to 105. We're looking at around 125 right there for the brand new 50. So that's about 525 onto our 700. So we're only at about 1225, $1,250 to have our bases covered for lenses. So great deal. Two full frame 5D bodies, uh, 24 to 105 L glass, great zoom, F4 constant aperture, and a super sharp, Excellent performing F1 and 8 fast glass, the new Canon EF STM 50 mil. I'll put all the links below uh, in the notes for the video so you can check these out on Amazon. Um, next up, we're going to look at flashes. And I know in the Nikon, I, I looked at the SB 700s. I'm going to go straight to the Yong New. And the reason here is that the Yong New, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'll put the link below. Uh, the new Mark IVs offer the full wireless and master slave functions that the Canon flashes do. And they are only $70.88 currently on Amazon when I look them up. So two of those is going to cost you 142 bucks. Incredible price. Um, buy a third one if you want to have some redundancy backup. Um, great deal. Batteries for those. Same as what I recommended in the other two videos. 
the 16 Anna Loop pack. When I just looked it up, it was $37.54 on Amazon, which is cheaper than the $41 the other day. In any case, they're around $40 for 16. That's four packs of four. That should do you. If you're uncomfortable with only that, um, some people like lots of batteries. Get two packs. It's, it's uh, two 16 packs. Great deal. I can't beat that. Anna Loops are the best rechargeable batteries out there. I have Anna Loops that I've used for four and five years now, still testing fine and performing well. Really phenomenal batteries. Okay, next up, um, and what I didn't cover in the Nikon um, Pro kits that we put together, and I guess I made the assumption I was thinking everybody knows to have extra camera batteries. I should have included that in there, uh, but get some Wasabi batteries, especially with the 5Ds where you may be getting older batteries if they're original. Two batteries in a charger from Wasabi Power is $25.99 on Amazon. Again, I'll put the link below. I've got Wasabi batteries for uh, every camera I shoot with, even some that I'm, I have on loan, just to have the extra batteries. I've got them in the G7 right now. They work fantastic. And for the price, uh, buy an extra couple sets. Fantastic. Uh, you can get two sets of two there with an extra charger in each one. So it'll give you, you know, conceivably three chargers as long as you're getting a one with your 5D. Actually, I'll give you four chargers. Um, and that'll be $52 for four batteries plus extra chargers. Incredible price. Great batteries. Again, I'll put the link below. And then memory. Memory we need for the 5D. Remember that the original 5Ds were compact flash. A lot of my cameras now are SD. But you can get the Transcend 32 gig uh, super fast cards. I forget if they were 600 or 800 times cards. $34.99 last time I checked on Amazon. Get a pair of them for 70 bucks. Get, you know, get uh, four of them if you want, two for each camera, it's going to cost you $140. You used to spend $200 on a 256 megabyte card. This is a great deal. So what do we have here with the uh, 24 to 105 L and the 50 mil lens setup on two 5Ds, we're at $1,560 for your flashes, your batteries for camera and flash, and your memory cards. That's fantastic. Two full frame cameras, same bodies, easy to work between. You don't have to think about a different body when you're switching uh, and you've got your professional backup. Um, to quote the Navy SEALs, uh, two is one and one is none. In other words, build in your redundancy. Make sure you're ready for failure in case equipment goes down and that's why you should have two of everything. Two is one and one is none great Navy SEAL philosophy, especially if you're shooting professionally. You have a responsibility to your client to have backup gear. Especially, You have a responsibility to yourself. You could create a lot of trouble for yourself, um, could waste time, could miss a shot you may never get again. You want to make sure you got backups. So that's $1,560 with the 50 mil. Um, if you want to add the 85 millimeter as an option, you can get that currently for about 289 used, say 300. Um, so adding the um, 50 mil or adding the 85 to it, so you've got three lenses. We'll keep the 50 mil for that price. Uh, is only $1,989. Pretty brainless, you know, as far as adding that. It's, it's, it's not hard to think about doing that for that price. 85 mil, beautiful portrait lens. Uh, if you want a fast f1.8, if you want to save $125, drop out the 50, and you're down to you know 1875 or something great option there and again if you want to add a longer lens a lot of people like to shoot long look at the sigma 70 to 200 f 28 os they're around 700 used about 1200 new i'll put a link below the other option you might want to consider on the canon side is the older canon uh, 7200 f 28 l without is uh, either use a monopod or shoot braced or shoot steady you can usually get that for I think four to six hundred dollars, depending on you know what you find used. Great option. The other one that I really like for Canon is the seventy to two hundred f four L uh, with IS. You can get that without IS too. So those are some options. I'll put the links below. All of those great lenses. Um, but you know you're building a full frame kit, um, professional with backup, fifteen hundred dollars roughly. You know fifteen fifty. And that's, you know, with the 24 to 105 and the 50. And then you get add on extra lenses if you want. But that'll get you into a full frame professional kit. Great image quality. Um, you know, you, that's very hard to beat. If you want to step up the bodies into something newer, maybe more megapixels, then look at the 5D Mark IIs. They're about 940 I was finding them for on Amazon used. Um, 
not bad. Uh, I, I would consider that. Uh, optionally, look at a used 6D. Probably I'd stay with, um, for the price, the used 5D Mark II or the, um, I would stay with the 5Ds. So I know lots of people still shooting original 5Ds. Stephen Frischling, Fish, who we interviewed here on ArtOfTheImage.com. You can go back and listen to that interview. He still shoots 5Ds, loves them. They're a great camera. I owned one back when they were all the rage and I paid almost $3,000 for it. In any case, what do you guys think? Um, do you agree with me? This is the best budget, best value kit you can build for Canon. And it's not just uh, the best budget because it's the best value. You're getting an incredible performing photography camera for a very good price. And I guess when I, I say that 5D Mark II is an option if at, at 940 or around 900 if you can get them for that, um, it is a good option because that is where if you need video, you can get into video with the Mark IIs. You know, Hollywood is still using 5D Mark IIs to shoot major motion pictures. So, um, you know, full frame camera with good video, pretty decent option. That's gonna increase your costs by about $700. So, you know, the 1560, the 1550 price for the 5Ds, if you go to the 5D Mark IIs, you're looking at, you know, around $2,500. So if you need video, that's the option to go to. If you're just doing photography, the 5Ds are great. Anyways, comments, questions, leave it below. Let's discuss. Do you agree this is the best value kit you can put together to shoot professionally for Canon? If not, tell me why. If you do. Let's discuss it. Are you still shooting with the Canon 5D, the original? Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com. And oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Just wanted to point out I am wearing my brand new Scotty Vest Sev. Uh, this is Polar Fleece 8.0. And I love this coat. Great for photographers. Look at all the pockets in here. You can, you can carry everything you need inside this coat. It's stylish. It's warm. It's got a great... Really high-end polar fleece to it. Really loving the coat. Kudos to Scotty Vest for coming out with a great new product. You can check them out at scottyvest.com. Thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll be back soon.